Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this one about Cold War I'm going to be telling you guys how to get diamond assault rifles. Now this is going to be a little bit different, right? Because we're going to be focusing on if you're playing hardcore Nuketown. If you're not playing hardcore Nuketown, um, you know, just use the assault rifles as you enjoy, you know, set them up the way that you want to play because they're assault rifles, they're versatile, you know. The only really challenging gun that's going to be here is the FAMAS, which you may have to play hardcore to get long shots with because this gun's recoil is fucking stupid, all right? The FAMAS is my gun that has the most kills because it is, it is that bad. The most kills because I had to use it the longest to complete stupid fucking long shots and cover kills. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's begin. Something very important about assault rifles is they're very easy to use which means you should save them as one of your last guns to get gold. You want to start using them once you have your pistols, shotguns, launchers, SMGs, and your knife and your thumper all diamond. The reason why is because with pistols and shotguns, they're all close range. You need something long range to get in, right? So you're going to passively level up your assault rifles while you get in close to you know get your other guns gold smgs you want to get those gold first because uh you might get put into situations where you're in the middle of a lobby you don't want to leave because you got a bunch of point blanks for your smgs and all of a sudden everyone starts camping and you need a long range weapon right that's where the assault rifles come in then you can level those up then work on the other harder stuff same thing with the knife sometimes you're going to need an assault rifle to get in close to then be able to use your knife and that's fine. That's why, you know, we save them to last is so that all of those kills that you're getting because you need to get close for your shotgun, you need to get close for your knife, you're using the rocket launcher, someone's trying to fucking kill you and you kill them back, you know, whatever. Maybe you need to kill people and you weaken them first. Whatever the case may be, instead of having a diamond assault rifle and all of those kills going to waste they actually count towards something. Now would I set up an assault rifle for something like Hardcore Nuketown? Honestly, I there's a there's four basic attachments I go with. No stock. Absolutely no stock. Sprint to fire is very important. Speed tape, not airborne elastic, because you need to bring the gun up as fast as you can because you're gonna put a five watt laser on it. And when you do that, you're going to be able to pop more shots off. And since everything's a one-shot kill, it doesn't matter if you get a hit marker because you're going to kill someone at close range. Basically set it up like an SMG. Then an SAS mag clamp. The fifth attachment, I always go with the agency suppressor because all my classes for Hardcore Nuketown use flak jacket, tactical mask, tracker, stalk or scavenger, ghost, and spycraft. Or ninja if it's still you know if, if there's no field mics up I go with ninja because if you have the agency suppressor plus ghost plus spycraft any UAVs they throw at you you will not be detected and people don't expect that in hardcore you know they flip on a UAV and they see all the dots right because no you know everyone puts on like ghost or they don't put on suppressor they put on ghost but not suppressor because it's hardcore right throw on a suppressor and all of a sudden you're invisible when they have all their UAVs up. If you're going for long shots, all you gotta do is switch the laser off to a scope and put on the airborne elastic grip. Now when it comes to the FAMAS, it's a little bit different. The FAMAS is kind of built like an SMG, so I would still go with uh, something like a marathon stock or no stock, you know, something like that. I'd go with the airborne tape because it's the FAMAS. Put on the foregrip that gives you the most recoil control. Put on some kind of sight to help you out. Don't worry about the laser so much because the FAMAS hip fire is a bit wonky. And then put on the agency suppressor for the FAMAS. Getting all the challenges is really simple. The only problems you're going to have is with cover kills and just like the pistols, just camp angles if you're going for cover kills camp angles that you know people are going to have to peek and stay in cover. So the trailer on Nuketown, the windows, the fences. People like to hide behind those fences. The the doors that people like to hide behind, the couches. That's all stuff that people like to hide behind. The Jeep. When it comes to long shots, use those long angles that everyone always seems to camp because those give you long shots, right? Especially with the FAMAS. The FAMAS, you need to do that because it's a two-shot kill. It's not a one-shot, so you're going to have to like do that. And with the FAMAS, 
If you're going for long shots, don't full auto, just burst fire. And pretty soon, you know, if you do it where you wait to get all the other stuff gold, like I said before, before you go to the ARs, you're going to understand how hardcore Nuketown works. You're going to be just fine. ARs are super easy. Like, the only problem is the FAMAS, which, I mean, the FAMAS takes forever to do just because of its high recoil. It's not a fun gun to use, but the rest of the guns, dude, even if you, you know, unlock the Groza or the Farah, or as I call it, the Galil, you can use one of those, it's all the same. Easy handling, versatile, you can do whatever you want with it. So yeah, that's how you get Diamond ARs. Wait for all those other classes to be done, and just use the ARs. Honestly, you don't even have to use play hardcore Nuketown to get these things gold. They are that easy. So, hope you have some fun with it. You know, I would definitely recommend if you're getting burnt out on hardcore Nuketown, and you have you don't need to play it for the point blanks. Throw on an AR, do some weird class setups, and just have some fun in hardpoint or dom or VIP or whatever. And just know that that gun is fun to use and you will still be working on challenges with it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and I'll see you guys in the next one.